Sacred Divine 555. To all my December warriors, welcome back. To any new viewers, welcome to my channel. You're all so welcome here. Sending everyone an abundance of peace, love, most importantly, truth. And today we're going to be doing your spirit sage reading, okay? Um, I do a spirit sage reading whenever I'm led to do one. Um, in these readings, it's just typically, um, sometimes touches on star seed stuff, new earth stuff, just anything that comes forward that, um, I feel led to share. And today we're going to kind of go over a prophetic dream that I, that I had that I can't seem to stop thinking about. Okay. Um, I'm just going to briefly tell you guys what the dream was about, and then I'm gonna pull some cards to see what is hidden in the messages that Spirit is pushing me to share, okay? So, this dream, okay, um, the feelings I got around this dream were persistence and um, a feeling of time ticking of last minute pre preparedness or it, it's a lot of different feelings but all right so <laughs> what comes to mind is white deep rectangular containers okay and it was a warehouse setting and there was a situation where people were panicked and grappling for possessions, whatever they could grab, whatever they could do, a lot of chaos. Um, all I know is that I was trying to help others or prepare in some way. You know how dreams are, they're very elusive. Like, you know, you, you remember certain things, you don't remember certain things, certain things stand out. While other things fade away but I feel as though I was trying to help others or I was trying to help prepare others or um but then all, all of a sudden there was this urgency that it was something beyond me I couldn't wait any longer I had to go all right and that leads us back to these plastic rectangular very large containers um it was almost like a scene from Titanic where um People had to go. They had to get on to some type of structure that leads you from somewhere else. Okay, so I know I had to go. Okay, I couldn't do anything else in this particular space that I was in. So I went ahead and it was a couple of beings that were at the entrance of this warehouse or wherever it was. Um, I do get the feeling that it was, I was in a high height. I was in a height. It was in a, an area that was very, um, it was a great height, but I felt like I was you know, suspended, okay, at a high height. And um, these beings, which I, I couldn't see their face, they looked like they could, I, I couldn't tell if they were human or what, but it was two beings and they were helping others over and they kind of helped me over. And, um, hey, <laughs> sorry, my sneezes are always some type of confirmation or, um, as well as my eyes get very teary and stingy um, when I'm being stimulated in some way. But, um, so they were helping me into this deep, deep, thick, industrial grade plastic square container. No, rectangular container. And, um, there were other beings in this container. Oh, I could, I can't make out if there were other people or just beings. It was just, I know I felt that they were beings, um, souls, people. I mean, I just couldn't tell you for sure. Um, time was running out. That's all I felt was that time was running out. I couldn't do anything else there. All right. Um, all of a sudden, the container was released. Okay, the, the, the container was released. I don't know how it was released. Um, it was released into a huge mass of water. Okay, massive waters. And um, I did write this down because, um, <laughs> oh gosh, sometimes when I get visions from dreams, um, the meaning doesn't come to me sometimes for months later um 
even longer sometimes, but sometimes it's just, I get the meaning right away. Um, the fact that I remembered this dream when I woke up and these specific details was pretty amazing. So I wrote them down, but um, I, as this container was being released into this massive amount of water, um, all I knew was that there was no control. There was no control. There was no control. Only God presence, only source presence. It just, it was no control. Okay, the ocean or the water or whatever it was. It's like the ocean was meeting the sky and it was just this container full of these people being souls along with me. We were at the mercy of the force, okay? And um, it felt like a, I felt like a, a minuscule being in comparison to the force that we were swept in. And I began to say the Our, our Father prayer. I remember it plain as day, okay? I was standing with every ounce of my being and um, I felt this force pushing us through these waters, the sky, whatever it was. And it was just, it was super uber real. And um, there was someone beside me. I, I can't tell you if it was a person or what, but it was some being and they were feeling, they were into what I was saying, my prayer, whatever it was. And they, they were, they were in it with me, you know, and um, I woke up. So this dream has been in my brain and has been, I've been, I've been being pushed to go deeper into this, um, that this could mean something to someone. So we're going to just go ahead and get right into this. Okay. I'm just going to pull some cards. I don't have any sort of direction on what this is going to go. It's not going to be a long reading. Just going to tap into the energy of this dream and see if we can get some answers okay all-knowing source divine spirit archangels raphael of air my east archangel michael of fire love you so much archangel michael to myself archangel gabriel of water to my west archangel uriel of earth to the north vertical plane Archangel Sandalphon and Archangel Metatron allow me to be the channel. Also, Ascendant Masters, 5D and above, Ancestors, 5D and above, allow me to be the channel to bring forth truthful, clear, and precise messages for the collective. Allow me to tap into the energy that is meant to be tapped into to bring forth the messages that are important for anyone and all those who need them the most. Thank you so much. All right, so what we're going to do, okay? We're gonna pull. We're gonna pull from the major arcana deck, okay? We're gonna pull three of these cards to see <clears throat> what we can get, okay? Since these are the major arcana cards, um, this is divine intervention. I feel as though we can get, and we have the magician on the bottom of the deck here. Um, so we're gonna see what we can get in terms of this dream what was it telling me what does it mean for the collective What I get from the dream itself is that um, a time of preparation is coming to a close and that there is a major force um, that is sweeping through a timeline jump, a definite transformative period a cleansing of sorts that's happening um, and this could be on a very personal level or um, even larger scale whether that's people addressing karma healing before major transformation but 
with all the water energy. Oh, wow, yeah, we do have all this cancer energy that's coming about. We have the cancer um, going retrograde. You know, we have Mercury going retrograde in cancer. We have the cancer, um, the eclipse, okay, um, with the new moon in cancer. Um, we have another eclipse in cancer. And, um, yeah, so a lot of emotional energies um, surrounding the feminine energies surrounding healing new earth mother earth etc but definitely um, emotional healing transformation but let's see let's see what spirit has to say oh wow I, I wanted three and they all came out bottom of the deck justice justice so this prophetic dream has a lot to do with balancing out the scales in some way. Justice, peace, karma, balance being restored, truth, equality, Okay, and what do we have? Okay, this is what came out in relation to this, this prophetic dream. Okay, we have the chariot with strength in reverse and the star. Let's start with strength in reverse, Leo energy. Eight energy, equilibrium, balance, mirroring, With strength in reverse, this speaks to me of, as a collective or people in general, having a difficult time and struggling with pain, resentment, unresolved anger, rage. All of the chaotic... passion fueled issues that are going on in the world right now it's cultivating into the scales being balanced there's a divine plan okay fears lack of confidence I do feel as though the scene where there was the warehouse and um, everyone grappling grabbing panicked getting what they can get doing what they can do it represents detachment or attachments to earthly things. Um, it also represents confusion. This could allude to like all, like some of the things that have happened in the world with looting and anger and racial inequality and just politics and even in the spiritual community, you know, fears and old paradigms and you know wanting to help others um, not knowing where to get involved or not to get involved everyone having to do the work on themselves in order to heal 444 on the clock and everyone in the end has to 
heal themselves. They have to want to heal. They have to address the true issues. It all starts with yourself. Of course, we all know that racism, that hate, that inequality, all of these things are just illusions. It's part of a bigger programming. But none of that on a larger scale can be addressed until we heal ourselves, until we balance ourselves and realize that love is the key, love is the answer. So that scene of the warehouse where everyone's grappling, trying to get what they can get, trying to hold on to material possessions, you know, while time is running out, even healers, spiritual gurus, everyone trying to help others and do what they can, but ultimately it starts within ourselves, each and every one of us individually, um, to reach this point, you know, to raise the vibration to a certain level for new earth. If you're not on that far um, down the rabbit, rabbit hole, then just, it starts with ourselves. You know, healing the inner beast within ourselves and finding that equilibrium and balance the twin flame within ourselves. And then that, it, it spills outward. You know, you can't save everyone. Sometimes you just have to move on to the next level and, and whatever comes let it may okay so that is what i'm getting from the strength card in reverse okay finding the strength to see outside of your circumstances finding the strength to understand that everything that you need and that you really desire and anything that you need to heal all the light that you seek, the answers that you seek are within you, all right? Um, that's where the healing starts. Star, Aquarius energy, all right? Following your true north, hope, faith, for better opportunities, to break molds, to evolve past outdated structures, old paradigms, and really evaluating what it is that you stand for, what do you believe in, your faith. There's something very emotional, deeply emotional that needs to be addressed. I believe with the matriarch, okay? And the dream came on the cusp of this Mercury retrograde in Cancer. We have the summer solstice on the same day as the Cancer New Moon. So I do believe that this is all about Aquarius energy. It's all about um, rebellion and doing things in a different way. Advancement, breaking the mold, healing deep emotional wounds and the energy of being in the container and feeling out of control is what many people may feel during this period with all of this cancerian energy all this emotional energy you know find out where your jupiter is in what house and relation to cancer find out where your Saturn is in relation to your cancer in your chart your moon but justice is being brought to 
many, many situations, okay? And there's going to be an overcoming of this, this fear, this lack of confidence. But it's only going to happen after some deep emotional healing, okay? Now, as the dream is all about time running out, all that you can do has been done in a particular situation or a particular level, and you're being pushed into this container with other souls. It may be addressing family issues. It may be addressing something on a global scale or a personal scale, but being pushed into this container out into this massive amount of water. It was like definitely like Noah vibes, like, you know, no control. The skies were meeting the, were meeting the seas and it was just source. And it's all about... healing healing being forced being forced to feel being forced to heal being forced to no longer conceal something that's deep within okay scales being balanced and that leads us to the chariot, which is represented by cancer, cancer energy, the chariot. Whatever you couldn't change or fix or whatever, it's like a timeline thing, okay? For me, the strength card in reverse represents that panicky feeling in the warehouse before it was time to get pushed into the container into this massive amount of water where there was no more control the strength in reverse represents the container the star represents what is inside of you the truth the light the way whatever it is that you seek acting on that or not acting on that determines whether or not you stay here or head here your true north okay so while in the container <laughs> you know it's like you don't have any control there's no control there's just god there's just all that you have in your heart in your soul and it's just you know something that you cannot control it is divinely guided like the chariot okay divinely guided faith being pushed and led by spirit by the divine by source into something very much meant for you into something very much new and yes faded okay so wow, very, 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 very insightful. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull a good tarot on each card okay what is strength in reverse what is strength in reverse strength in reverse is the queen of air with the ace of fire What are you gonna do? Are you gonna listen to your higher self? Wisdom, guidance, intuition? Allow the fire to be lit passion
Ace of Fire is all about that. A divine blessing of travel, of ideas, passion, victory, and it's action. It's the beginning of something new. The queen of air is logic, intelligence. It's to me, um, your spirit guides, your angels, the divine pushing you. into something greater. Encouraging you to step outside of doubts, fears, resentment, and to trust in a divine plan to open your heart to allow this fire to melt some of the ice okay that's been built up in order to gain this higher knowledge okay so that you can move past the struggle past the resentment of course there's a lot of that going on in the world right now globally if this is on a personal level it's just a nudge from spirit to get you out of this energy um to detach from those things that have you in fear um unable to battle the beast within the struggles or something that you are dealing with it's just like a warming of the ice to melt that protect, protective layer to give you that nudge and allow you to hear what it is that you need to hear. It's almost as if um, pulling you out of your lower natures into your higher natures in order to be prepared for what's to come. Yeah. It's almost it's like you're being pulled out of a chaotic situation. Whatever you were fighting for in the warehouse, grappling for possessions, maybe um, helping others that don't want to be helped. Those who are manipulative, controlling, scarce scarcity mindset or this could even be you in fear of failure surrounded by chaos full of lack mentality unable to gain control of step into your power you know this energy here is trying to put a light under you so that you can rise above this, okay? What is the star? What is the star, please? What is the star telling us in relation to this dream? Wow. <laughs> this is beautiful. Yeah, it's just like I said, just a nudge from spirit pushing you out of a situation where you're stuck, where there is this inner fear, resentment, rage, anger. And you're being, there's a light being put under you, a fire, a new beginning, a new opportunity. It's encouraging you to let down your guard to 
move past any resolve or fears, protective layers, and listen, open up your heart, your mind, your soul to the possibilities. And the possibilities are here. It's like the fire is being lit under this hot air balloon. And then you are being receptive to this energy of the queen of air. galactic intelligence ancestors um there's something that's coming your way all right and it's really lending itself to um balance justice find out where your north node sits if it's in libra this message is for you for sure but yeah so bringing you out releasing um, attachments to the 3d world not being stuck in chaos and circumstances that you cannot control and that's leading to this energy of the star okay faith healing hope recognition opportunities a lot of healing in those waters getting in touch with your faith your spirituality so this could indicate someone who is really on a path of enlightenment and with them they're taking a lot of souls with them okay the container full of people that is just out of control. There's just the grace of God. There's just the elements, okay? Um, this can indicate someone who is on a journey and um, touching a lot of souls, doing a lot of emotional healing, a lot of emotional work, okay? Six of air means um, um, someone or some situation is really about to take off. Six of fire, let me see. Yeah, the six of fire is all about success. It's recognition. It's advancement. It's commitments. Collaborations. Something is moving forward, whether it's a relationship, whether it's on a global scale, a personal scale, whether it's um, a promotion, investment, a union, okay? It is very much destined and destined for success and victory, okay? It's gonna be the end of anxiety and the end of not seeing things clearly, okay? Nine of air could, you know, indicate Gemini energy, but it could also indicate, you know, stress and um, not seeing things clearly. This could also indicate dreams, okay? So this is about a dream, you know, um, lack of clarity. But for me, this nine of cups indicates that that period is over and to me this nine of air represents someone being surrounded by divine protection divine guidance lots of energy in relation to um, messages that someone's receiving from the angelic realms and um, a lot of blessings and a lot of information and knowledge that is taking someone and many people higher. Okay, very blessed situation here. And lastly, let's find out what the what the chariot is. What is the chariot? Spirit sage message. What is the chariot? What is the chariot? Two cards. Have a lot of fire 
Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aquarius, we have Cancer, and we have the air signs. To clarify, the chariot, divinely guided on the path, these waters, this loss of control, you know, these emotions, everything that is happening is divinely guided and faded. It has to happen. It's out of your control, but it's definitely blessed. We have the messenger of fire or the knight of wands, and we have the king of fire, <laughs> okay, or the king of wands, okay? So this is just absolutely on point with the message, okay? This has something to do with the world globally, um, taking control, um, a new opportunity, a new beginning, new earth on a personal level. It's things coming back up for review. It's detaching from things that you don't have any control over, moving past chaos, moving past the lower nature into the higher nature. Um, this is also um, something faded, a divine connection between divine masculine um, and divine feminine. This is about coming into balance within yourself. Um, this is also about higher knowledge, a spiritual journey. Um, this is also about a path of enlightenment, um, a guru or someone who is being forced, okay? Just like Noah um, had a dream um, or he was deep into the ocean. There's someone possibly that's connecting with this reading that is on a journey. They're creating something, they're building something, and they're taking a lot of people with them. But on that path, there is um, something that has to be faced, okay, in terms of um, their personal journey, in terms of emotions, um, um, control, releasing control, releasing control addressing something something transformative happening transcendental and um you have to be prepared okay you may feel out of control you may feel as if your emotions are taking control of you but it's all about riding the wave okay riding the wave and having faith riding the wave and having faith okay messenger of fire this is determination this is passion this is drive and this is the knight of wands the messenger of fire the one who is determined the one who never gives up Sagittarius energy here all right um be mindful okay of the messages messages that you receive um from the wise ones, okay, from your ancestors, from your guides, from the divine, the angelic realms, okay, because information is coming that's going to ignite something very powerful, all right, trust your inner, inner guidance, your inner knowledge, your higher self, okay, and you will be successful, pay attention to the signs, all right, pay attention to the signs because it's time to act. There's no time left to grapple. The king of fire, the king of wands is a leader. The king of wands is very, very cardinal. They take action. It's like, again, you know, this is Aries energy. A lot of fire in this reading, you know, fire and water. It creates steam, illusions, seeing through all of it, divinely guided, okay? The King of Wands is very cardinal energy. It acts on the inner knowing, and it follows the heart. It believes in the insight and the wisdom from the divine, and it acts on faith, and the King of Wands gains much respect for that. Very influential very respected, very powerful, and very skilled, okay? So following the passion and the faith and the hope on a very divinely guided journey, all right? Something is 
going to be very, very successful. Someone is going to be very, very successful or something, idea, circumstances leading to something very substantial and powerful. Pay attention to the signs and the messages, okay, that you receive. So much fire, so much fire. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have number 14, temperance, okay? 14 break, breaks down to five, which is tower energy. It's all about enlightenment. It's all about change, drastic change. You know, old structures, old ideals, outdated ideals being annihilated so that something, you know, new can come about. Okay, that's what the five energy is all about. Tower moments, shocking events, changes, okay? Patience is what's needed during this period. Temperance, balance is being restored. But it's going to be after some emotional purging and releasing of control, okay? And that is what I'm getting for this prophetic message from this dream, okay? Let's pull from the spirit of lightness and darkness to get the energy around this dream, around what it means, okay? During this Mercury retrograde in Cancer, all of these eclipse energies, all of this Cancerian energy, emotions, healing, What messages do we have? We have the spirit of the heart, okay? Identity, vibration, and soul essence. So this is all speaking about the heart, love, healing, change, identity, raising your vibrations, raising your vibrations, detaching, from things that you can't control, letting go of resentment, pain, and anger. Fire, passion. Moving toward your goals. Pay attention, in, paying attention to the signs and the messages that you receive from spirit. Doing the emotional work and healing that is needed. Preparing for the flood that it will bring, but knowing that everything that you seek is within you. Hope, healing, recognition is coming, riding the waves, okay, as you're being pushed on a journey through your emotions, your emotional body, into something very beautiful and very, very solid, okay, and it's all revolving around love, your true soul essence, all right, so this is a major, major, um, powerful powerful energy that is um, being evoked and that dream is all about this energy here justice balance coming into your true self Spirit of the key, solution, wisdom, and spiritual knowledge. What did we just say? Spiritual knowledge. Someone or this, on a very, very, very extreme scale, um, there's definitely new solutions that are coming in. Heightened gifts. Pay attention to your dreams, synchronicity signs. Um, there is going to be some rapid changes, um, and it's going to really come about, evolve, cultivate after this energy with um, all this Cancerian energy, these eclipses, and um, after Mercury goes direct. Okay, after a lot of emotional stuff comes up for review, that's when someone is going to experience some very heightened gifts. Um, the world is going to um, 
be, I guess, infiltrated with more um, awareness, okay? And the spirit of alchemy, okay? Manifest skill and transformation. I can't make this up. Headed towards some major, major manifestation and um, knowledge. Alchemy. It's, it's transmuting karma, it's healing, it's attaching, and we're moving into something new. Something new here. All right. And I have so much fire energy here. Leo, Sag, um, Aries, but chariot energy, it's cancer energy. Um, we're going into the um, cancer season soon. A lot of this is going to cultivate during Leo season. Leo season. Okay. Information, knowledge, you know, karmic justice, cosmic justice, divine justice. And right below that, in the beginning of the reading, we had the fool, okay? I'm sorry, the magician, manifestation, alchemy, co-creating with the universe, and it's amazing, all right? Alchemy. Let's pull an oracle. Spirit Sage. I guess it gave us some insight into that dream. You know? A lot of emotional healing. It's going to lead to growth, healing, ascension, and massive changes. What's an oracle that the collective can... Um, draw on during this period in relation to this this dream this vision one oracle message please what angel can we draw strength from we have duma okay the angel of dreams that is so amazing the angel of dreams let's see what duma has for us that is just beyond that the angel of dreams came out while we're trying to get more insight into a prophetic dream. Absolutely amazing. Okay. So we have Duma. Okay, the angel of dreams. Docent to the unknown. Duma is the impetus to doubt a false reality, to crack the shell, keeping you from the truth. When the world shifts around you, Duma is your guide. The world is stranger than you believed it to be. What we all dream, we dream together. Those dreams pull together in Duma's cupped hands. Look below the surface of the water. And we had water, massive water in this dream. Look below the surface of the water. You know you've missed something and yet you wonder what. You listen closely and yet you hear nothing. All the while you dream the truth you think you seek. It is said that Duma and Lelial are connected. The truth of this can only be found within angelarium the signs of duma that you'll find during this period when you seek them are in a reflection in water a golden cage an eye they always say that you could see someone's soul through their eyes the reflection in water reminds me of narcissists okay so think of that that could mean something for someone a golden cage. Now, they say that Duma is connected to Lelial. I'm going to read Lelial, okay, and see what um, that angel may have in connection to Duma and dreams.
Okay. So, Duma, the Angel of Dreams, is connected to Lelio, the Angel of Night. I want to find out about Lelio. That way, this could connect the dots for someone. So we go from the Angel of Dreams, looking below the surface, to Lelio, the Angel of Night. So something in the shadows, something is not being seen or something will be illuminated on the other side of healing through all those emotional waters, okay? A fleeting spirit who dances across the sky, beautiful but aloof. Stars feel the tresses of Lelio's hair. The night passes whether we are lost to quiet murmurs of sleep or staring out at a darkened expanse of sky. For everything you see, there are a thousand things unseen. You witness the glimmer, the gleaming of what is truly there. Lelio passes from one star to another, filling the sky with light. One would think the darkness is Lelio's realm. However, it is starlight that heralds night's arrival. Star bright, starlight, dance on and on across this night. What lullabies await us? What glittering night charms will Lelio hang upon the sky for all to see, for all to dream? looking beneath the surface, uncovering what is in the dark, moving through the emotional waters to face what one must in order to grow, to advance. Signs in the wind in sheer cloth and in the moon. Wow, a lot of insight there. I hope this was helpful um, for someone. And um, know that I love you all. Stay strong, stay in your power. And um, know that we all are on a path of enlightenment, knowledge, growth, and that love, love always wins. Also know that even in the twilight of the darkest and coldest night of December, please remember that you'll be fine. There's nothing that can ever stop what is truly divine. Until next time, love and light.